here's where the games start to get tough. And trust me, you don't want to miss this series. I just played the most insane games of my career. Here's what happened in the deciding NHL 24 World Championship qualifiers. Here's my final team. Just a couple changes from my last video. Kucherov in the second line. He's awesome. I like him over Rick Nash. And then Fantasy Teräväinen in the fourth line instead of that Axe Factor Hughes. Because since my defense, new Doki Hamilton was released. He looks unbelievable. He's better than the ninth burst I had. And I got Doki by just refunding the Axe Factor Hughes to the minimum. I I thought the difference between Teravainen and Hughes is smaller than what the difference would be between Hamilton and Burns. So here's what I did. Also Dimko in net. I got him untradeable from my rival's rewards. And he's been unbelievable in practice games. So he's in the net. If he doesn't perform, 89 Markstrom is my backup. Here's my strategies. And in the left, you see my abilities as well. Going in with everything on middle uh, defensively and offensively and team strategy wise. Here's what I'm working with. So I need to win four best of three series in a row to qualify to the European Championships, which would be the top eight players and would be played live in Denmark, in Copenhagen. If I lose even a single series, I'm out of the whole tournament. In my first round, I was playing Axe Black and he didn't show up. Your opponent did not arrive, you will win by default. All right. Round two against Pakish. Really unfamiliar player for me, but when the game started, I noticed he had a bit of skill. He wasn't a slouch in any means, but in both of the games, when I got the first goal of the game, I felt like his belief kind of started to went down. I felt like he felt that he was the underdog, right? And when he got scoring chances, I really noticed that he was a bit nervous. I only allowed one goal throughout the whole series, and we're into round three. Easy as that. We're in our bracket semi-final against Mise, and here's where the games start to get tough. Mise is a top tier player, I would rank him around top 20, top 30 in Europe. I've played him multiple times this year, I've won most of them, but I've also lost a couple. He's a really skilled guy offensively, but defensively I feel like you can get a lot of scoring chances against him. Game 1 was pretty back and forth, both of us were creating scoring chances, neither of us were scoring. Got to say, Mise was really impressive, he played miles better than I was expecting him to play. He's never really played in a big tournament so I was expecting his nerves to show up way more than he actually showed because I didn't see any. We're going in the third period. Game is 0-0, man. Damn, I really need to win this game one. But Mise comes down with a rap. I haven't seen people score rap goals this year. What is this goal? <laughs> anyway, we're down. And in the end of this game one... <sighs> I did create a couple okay looks, but nothing really ate here. My offense wasn't at the level it's supposed to be. And I did end up losing game one of my third round. And just like that, our back is against the wall. I felt like start of the game, I played decent. I could have scored in the beginning, but late on in the game, I just couldn't find my best level. Yeah, we're down because of that. Aye, aye. Not the best game offensive. Going into game two, my back is against the wall, but... I stepped up, unbelievable start to game 2, we were scoring all over the place. At the start of the second period, I scored my fourth goal. And that's basically game 2, means I couldn't come back anymore. But he did score another one of these wraparounds. What is this goal, guys? <laughs> like, seriously. But we won game 2, and on to game 3, the winner goes to the deciding fourth round. I have a good chance with Temu to start game 3, doesn't go in. Horrible giveaway from me in the blue line. Mise gets into the breakaway. Luckily can't score, but <laughs> straight after his pass goes off them, go to back door and I'm down. I'm down. I really don't want the same thing to happen than in game one where I just couldn't score. But right after my fourth line, Bill Garrett. Oh, glad to see my fourth line stepping up. And at the end of the first period, unbelievable passing play. And we are up. 2-1 heading into the second. Come on guys, looking good. But straight in the second period, Mise gets a 2-1. -on I think I make the right decision here with the dive. But what is his current doing with his stick? If he would just keep his stick forward, he would get that pass intercepted right. But he's doing some stupid shit. <laughs> and the game is tied again. But then... I forced Mise into taking a couple penalties. But my power play is horrendous. I can't seem to find the back of the net. But straight after the power play, my fourth line again. You 
a sack kick. My fourth line is really clutching this game for me. Sakic is in the team for a reason. Straight after that, Mise with a horrible mistake with this goal. He throws me the puck and I get the two goal lead. Straight after that, Rick Nash, three goal lead. And that's it. We are into the final round and we only need to win one more series to qualify to the European Championships for the fourth straight time. GG's man. It was a tight series. In the deciding best of three, I am playing Artuzio, one of the best players in Europe. NHL has organized this tournament six times. There's been six different European championships. I have won the title five different times, but the year when I didn't win this, Artuzio won it. I feel like you see me playing him in regular hot games every other week in this channel. Artuzio. 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 But the last time we played each other in the biggest stage in the World Championships was the first year this tournament was organized in 2018. And in the last couple years, I felt like I've gotten somewhat lucky with my brackets. I haven't faced up against the best players in the qualifiers, but this year is totally different. Only one of us can go through. And trust me, you don't want to miss this series. Here we go, game number one against Artuzio. Like I said, I played Artuzio a lot and how our games usually go is that I have most of the puck possession and Artuzio relies on his counterattacks where he is unbelievably effective. Probably the most effective out of anybody in the game. Artuccio is trying to go for the line change, but my four check pays off. I get the interception, I get the puck, and Kucherov buries it on the backhand side. Great start to the series, and I'm up by one. After my first goal, couple chances, but both goalies are staying strong. And then Tuccio cuts to the slot with Matthews, shoots it far side. How does that go in? Yeah, those blocker shots are really good this year, but come on, man, that didn't feel like a shot that should go in. Game is 1-1 and Tutsu is coming down with Heiskanen on the counter-attack. I allow him to cut to the middle. Horrible defensive mistake and he's up. In the second, not much happened. Couple chances either way, but nothing, nothing massive from either side. And we have had most of the puck possession, as you see, nine minutes time on attack. But after the start, we haven't gotten any massive scoring chances, but Going to the third period, Artuzio is coming down straight lining with McDavid. A horrendous pass by him, frees up Lemia on a breakaway. I just can't find the back of the net. Some more chances as well, but I ah, just can't find a way to score. Most of the gameplay is played in Tuzio's zone. Obviously, I really want to get this game tied. And with five minutes to go, my four check pays off again. Tuzio with the pass to me. I kind of get a lucky bounce in front, but McDavid finishes it off and it's 2-2 with five minutes to go. Game one is going down to the wire. At the end of the third, not really any scoring chances for both players, and we are going to an overtime in game number one. Obviously, I don't have to tell you how massive game one is in a best of three. Right at the start of the overtime, Heiskanen in the slot. I get the rebound off Lemia. Can't score. Pretty straight after, McDavid. With no energy, I tried to stop and get it to Lemio for the cross crease. I totally mess up the pass and take an interference penalty with McDavid when I was trying to shoot the one-timer. I felt like for both of us, the nerves started to show a bit, especially in this game one overtime. I was losing the puck in places I usually don't. Neither of us was at the best level in scoring chances. The fact is, there's only one massive tournament in NHL every year. It's this one. And from a competitive standpoint, it kind of feels like your whole year goes to a waste if you don't win, right? Yeah, I think you kind of see the importance of the moment in our gameplay. Start of the second OT. Tutsu is coming down with Matthews. <laughs> Just like that, we are down 1-0 in the series. I, I didn't feel like I played bad, but we are down in the series, heading into the second game. And we just need to freaking step up. I start game two off unbelievable. I'm creating chances all the time, multiple different looks. I just can't find a way to solve his Darcy Kemper. Artuzzo is running the Hood Champions Kemper in net with cold light work and I really feel like he's shutting me down. Got to say, during the series, I had a feeling I probably made the wrong, wrong choice at net, but yeah, easy to say that afterwards. In most games, Demko was insane for me, but 
in this series, Tutsius Kemper did outplay my goalie. Kemper. With five minutes to go in the first, McKinnon gets the tip. Shots at the net, man. Good things happen. After the goal, I'm still applying even more pressure. I'm all over Tutsio. I can't believe I'm not leading by more here. Objectively, this game should at least be 2-0, 3-0, maybe even 4-0 to me. But after the first, I'm leading 0-1. The shots are 12-0 to me. 12-0. And straight at the start of the second, Tutsio finds McKinnon in the slot and his first shot of the game is a goal. And I just can't get frustrated. Like I said at the start of the series, Tuzio is the best player in this game in counter-attacks. And capitalizing from his chances. I kinda knew this coming in. The moment can't get to me. I need to keep focused and just play at my best. If we are playing like this, creating chances like this and don't win, there's nothing else I could have done. Hey, it's gonna end fighting Kretzky and... To one. We're back in position to force a game three again. But literally from the next attack, Artuzio scores again. The guy doesn't go away. Low blocker again from the middle. I've allowed that way, way too many times. But at the end of the period, my first line, I just straight lined with McKinnon and McDavid. Can't stop them with their speed. And I'm up 3-2 again. Start of the third period. McDavid on the breakaway off the post. Oh, uh, I can't put this game away. I've defended very good in the third, though. Haven't allowed many chances. Demko has taken care of the rest. Bit over two minutes to go. I find McDavid in the slot. I can't score. If I would have just sawn a bit earlier, Kemper was down. I probably could have just gone backhand, but... Oh my god. Then I take a penalty with 30 seconds to go. But I get the puck. I'm on a 2-on-1. -on -one, and this was the biggest mistake I did during the series. I'm on a 2-on-1 -on -one, 25 seconds to go. I don't need to score here. I need to go to his zone and keep the puck. Not, not allow him to get any more chances. My thought process here is that Tutsio has to think that I'm keeping the puck right. It's what I always do in these moments. So I kind of overthought this situation. I thought... If I would pass it right at the end, Tutsio would probably be aggressive towards my pack carrier to try to get the puck, but he wasn't. Oh, no, 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 not like this. Back door! No! I didn't kill the game at the end of the third like I should have. This game shouldn't be in OT, man. Tutsio's coming down, getting a penalty shot. My whole world championship run. Is on the line. I have two options here. I'm thinking backhand or dive. More players go to the backhand side this year. So that's why I'm thinking backhand. But at the same time, dive might surprise him. World championships are alive. Miro Hayes gonna get the puck. Finding back door. Mario Lemia. Game three. Little kiss to you guys. Oh my god. God, I'm still alive. I did deserve to win that game too. Ob obviously, I, I don't think the game should have even been to OT, but being a penalty shot away from losing, forcing a game three, I felt like I got another life here. And let's get it, man. Do or die, game three. Winner qualifies to the European Championships. Massive stakes on the line. I'm creating some looks in the beginning, but Artuzio scores first off the counter-attack with a great passing play. Ah, not like this. Straight after I take a penalty. Oh, most of this final goal of fire. I've stayed out of the box, but my old habits are starting to show a bit. But on the penalty kill, let me fighting McDavid. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> and again, straight after my goal. I should just clear it. I'm on the PK. Why am I holding the puck? He's coming down with Matthews. Uh, cross crease. I thought it was really difficult to stop him. Even though you kind of know what he was doing, right? But straight after, my first line strikes again with the rebound. Come on, pucks to the net. Good things happen. But again, Tutsia side of the net, just wiggling. I think Sergachev is in the passing lane. I <laughs> and as you see from my face cam, I'm... Uh, yeah, I I'm not happy. Most of the series, I've defended okay, but all of a sudden in this game 3... I feel like everything is kind of working for, for Artuzio. But again, I stayed focused, stayed locked in. Start of the second period, McDavid. Uh, I know how to wiggle in the corner as well. Cutting to the middle, McDavid with Make It Snappy. Come on. First line has scored every goal for me in this decider. Showing up when it matters. After that, I get a power play. Great cut to Rick Nash. Low blocker again. And that's why I have Make It Snappy is active. I have the lead. Come on! And again, straight after, Tutsio gets to the middle. 
I get the puck. There's loose pucks all over the place. What is going on? My goal is down and it's 4-4 again. What the f is going on? Incredibly frustrating. Artuccio just doesn't go away. And yeah, I for sure haven't been lucky during this series either. Straight after his goal. I try a one-hander with McDavid. Doesn't quite go in, but Levio gets the puck finding McKinnon. And come on! Back in the lead. Straight after Temu Selene on the slot. Temu! The new addition of the post. Going to the third period, again, I'm doubling Artuzio in time on attack and shots. Like I basically have done throughout the whole series. But stats doesn't win you games. <sighs> Final period. Again, I lose the puck and take a penalty straight after. <laughs> it's not a horrendous penalty. Uh, he had Matthews and a good scoring chance. My shorthanded has been really good during this series. Kucherov on the slot! Again on the middle, I can't find Lemieux. In the corner, middle, what a patience! Kucherov! Two goal lead! Now we just need to kill this game, dude, I... Honestly. My thought process here to, was just to keep the puck, slow down my attacks, shut Tutsio's counter-attacks down, but straight after, on the power play, he finds Gretzky and just shoots low blocker. D this guy is insane. It's been like this for years against this guy. He just scores on almost every single scoring chance. It's always been like this. And it is frustrating. And this is what makes Artuzio one of the toughest players to play. Even when you feel like you are playing him, he just never goes away. Under 10 minutes to go, Tutsio is creating some chances. I'm finally getting saves by Demko. Massive stops here, keeping the lead for me. But then, Tutsio with Lemia. Uh, I was just thinking of the cross crease and the far side shot. He really outthinks me here. Great patience by him, finding Kucherov and... Game is tied. The drama is insane. <laughs> one minute to go. Artuzio with another giveaway. So is it to Matthews. Under one minute remaining. I'm just keeping the puck. I want to get the final shot of the third period. Not even give Artuzio another chance. 10 seconds to go. Morrissey. Loses the puck. Matthews is wide open in the slot. Backhand. Matthews. 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 Oh my god. In OT, Tutsio. Puck is bouncing in front. Not, not like this. Six minutes to go. Drew down the other in the zone. Cutting in. McDavid. Can't get the pass to Levy. And Drew down the <laughs> It's over. I had muted my mic during the series. You won't hear the reaction, but I was just yelling, <laughs> yelling off the top of my lungs. That's the most insane NHL series I have ever played. I'm on the floor. I can't believe it. Dog saves me from a possible heart attack. <laughs> what was this series? First things first, good games to Artuzio. Like I said to him, the toughest player for me to mentally playing tournaments. He's so freaking clutch. His scoring percentage is insane from chances. It's really tough to win him. Every year they put us in a single elimination bracket and so many other good players got knocked out during the qualifiers as well. Guys like Sisu, who I lost to in the second pre-qualifier and Jesse Al, who won the first pre-qualifier. Like, anyway, you understand. The, f the format is, is rough. So I qualified to the European Championships. They are played March 16th to 17th in Denmark. There's eight players remaining and I will vlog the European Championship. So that's next, but there's one thing before the European Championships. A hot team draft. This is one of my favorite parts of the World Champs every year. I've done a video about it in the last two years. That will be next. Note here at the end, these were the final games I will play with this hot team this year. So my focus goes to the World Champs now. And then after World Champs, we can start doing some fun challenge teams in HUT, like tall players, small players, whatever it might be. Now that the World Championship qualifiers are over, let's rate the team I qualified with. I'll rate every player from 1 to 10, no explanations. First line, everybody, 10 out of 10. Second line, Kucherov, 9 out of 10. Matthews, 8 out of 10. Selanne, 7 out of 10. Third line, Nash, 8 out of 10. Gretzky, 9 out of 10. Eichel, 7 out of 10. Fourth line, Garin, 8 out of 10. Sakic, no, no, 8 out of 10. Teravainen, 6 out of 10. Daukti, 10 out of 10. Heiskanen, 9 out of 10. Sergatsev, 8 out of 10. Makar, 8 out of 10. Hamilton, 7 out of 10. Morrissey, 7 out of 10. Demko, 8 out of 10. He sucked in the final games too. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Hope you freaking enjoyed this video. Like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.